Hello, adaptive lovers. Today's video will be about the art of formula writing. Uh, as a consultant, I have seen many instances and I had to debug many formulas. And let me tell you, some gave me like heart attacks. Before we jump into the subject, uh, some people ask me where I'm from. And uh, well, uh, I'm from France. Think of formula writing being the same as when you write a text. You don't write everything in one line without any spaces. It will be impossible to read. So when you write a formula, think of adding white spaces, return to a line, indentation using your tab key, and comments. So to illustrate that example, let's use the uh, FUDA formula that comes out of the box. All right, let's look at the base. So what I like doing is adding white spaces after keywords, syntax words, adding white spaces before and after mathematical symbols, such as equal, greater, lower than, etc. I also like doing an if statement, um, skip a line uh, between the condition, the then statement, and the else statement, as well as adding indentation, so we know when the then and else statement starts. All right, here is an example. If space, lower than, space before and after, multiplication, space, comma. It means we finished the condition, and now we're going to work on the then statement. So let's keep a line. Let's keep another line because I will want to add a comment right above it. And let's indent it. To add a comment, you will press the sharp key. Anything that is written after the sharp symbol until the end of that line is a comment and is not interpreted by adaptive. Typically, you would write an explanation here. Also, what I like doing is to align the closing parenthesis of my if statement with the if. So I know this parenthesis belongs to that if statement and the next one belongs to that first if. Compared to the original one that was very hard to read. Here is another example of a formula that is very hard to read. It has many if inside, a lot of logic happening. Now let's see the example when the formula has been formatted with spaces, return to lines, indentation, and comments. As you can see, it's bigger, but it's much easier to read. So you have all those comments and indentation showing you what's going on step by step. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to post them or email them to me. Uh, my email is sandra at cubicsanalytics.com. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy your day or evening, whatever. Cheers.